Well, good morning, everybody. Mugo here. How y'all do this morning? Well, I'm doing great. Uh, I got up. I made my coffee. Cats wanted to drink it with me. Uh, dogs were very patient from, because I always have my coffee before I let them out unless it's really an emergency. I put the cats back in their crates because I don't allow my cats out during the day. It's too risky if they happen to get out of the van and decide they're going to explore. I may never see them again. And there's too much wildlife out here that can hurt them. And I, I couldn't live with myself knowing that it was my negligence that hurt them. So... I put them back in their crates in the morning, and then I let my pups out, and it was pretty chilly this morning, so they did not want to stay outside long, so they're back in here again, and as soon as it warms up enough, I will take them back out and feed each and every one of them, and uh, start the day all over again. <laughs> It never fails. It's the same thing every day. It really is. Uh, except for one thing. I do like to go out and explore. And sometimes my little ones follow me. And that's okay because I can watch them. And those that I have to keep on a leash. And I have to because... One of them is blind and deaf. I can't let him go or her off the leash because she can't see where she's going and she can't hear me if I call her. And so she has to stay like that. And my big one, I do too. I now, if I'm in an area where there's no traffic or anything, I let him loose and let him run. But in an area like this, I do have a road on the west side of me. And there are homes on the south side of me. So I don't let him loose unless I've got him on a leash. And he is so strong. I, I cannot hold him back. I mean, I don't walk him. He walks me. So I don't allow him to do that. Um, but the other three, they're, they like to walk with me. They like to explore with me. And I let them, you know. I keep them quite close because I want to be able to, if I see any th harm coming to them, I want to be able to go and jump and rescue them. It's, you know, somebody said... I have a lot of animals in one small space, but, you know, this small space is bigger than what they think. <laughs> it really is. Being that I've only got five little ones, I have one, two, three of them that like to sleep with me. The other two likes to sleep on the passenger seat. And the big one has all the rest of the room, except for where the cats are. And at night, it wouldn't matter anyway. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's not hard. You just have to know how to arrange things where there is more room. And I even can cook in here. I only make my coffee in here. I'd rather cook outside. But still, you know, it, it it's not hard to have them in here. To me, it's not a bother. I don't I don't feel cramped up. I don't feel that they're cramped up. And like I said, during the day, they're not in here. They come in for their nap. And believe me, they let me know when it's nap time. Oh, my God. They're right there by the sliding door saying, well, are you going to let me in? It's time for me to take a nap. So I let them all in, and they take about an hour nap, and then back out they go. 
So it's not like we're cramped. We're not. We're not. And I always try to find a campsite that there's nobody around me. Because, number one, I want to be able to allow my animals to enjoy freedom. And if I have people around me, they can't enjoy the freedom because I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm very protective and I've got one loving on me. I'm very protective of them. And I am also very protective of other people's animals. And being by people that are, that have other animals, anything can happen. You don't know. You just don't know. They, they may get along and then one day one of them is not in the mood and before you know you've got a dog fight and somebody is going to get hurt. One of them will be hurt and I definitely don't want mine being hurt and I definitely don't want to see somebody else's being hurt. So like I said, I'm very protective of my animals. Please, y'all, don't worry. Don't worry about what space I have or not. I chose this life. And yes, I brought them into it, but they've always been with me. So, I, like I say, I've got one that's 16 or going on 16. And you know what? It's been with me all her life. And I got a 15 year old that's been with me all his life. So it's not like, oh, I picked up a dog a few weeks ago and now the poor thing, I've got him in this area and there's not enough room and how, I'm not cruel. I adore my animals. They are my life. My children are my life. I will protect my animals just like I would my children. So... And believe me, my kids, we, we lived in cramped areas too. So people thought they were cramped. My children were outside playing, so they didn't feel cramped. And we ate outside, and we only was inside when it was time to go to bed. So please, 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 those that are worried about the way I live my life, don't. I'm not worried about how other people live their life. They have to live their life the way they feel and what makes them happy. And this makes me happy. And this one here, he's a joy. He is a joy. He's patient. He's loving. He's protective. He is... <laughs> he's just plain awesome. So, like one more time, please don't be concerned about my condition, my way of life. I'm happy. I would not take happiness away from you. So don't try to take happiness away from me. Thank you all. And y'all have a good day, okay? Even though I was ranting a little bit, I'm sorry, but you all have a great day. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and I'm sure I'll get some. <laughs> and subscribe, and the little icon with the little so gray bell. Please click on that so you can be notified of my next video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.